y'all. Shay here. Um, today we're going to be opening up two Craftably holiday paintings. Um, I actually do uh, product reviews for Craftably's website. They're just two or three minute unboxing videos so someone can see what it looks like before they purchase. And I was doing this for them. And as I was doing it, I was like, I've got to unbox it for the channel. You guys, this is adorable. I love this painting. There's three ABs and one rhinestone. The rhinestones are amazing. They're everywhere. And I just thought, this is a shame if y'all don't see this painting. So, and we're doing jingle drills this month. So why not do a holiday painting unboxing? So again, this is Merry Mondays. So welcome to Merry Monday for jingle drills. If you're not familiar with Jingle Drills, it's a diamond painting community event that I'm co-hosting, and our host is Emeralds and Fairy Lights. Her name is Lindsay, and it runs from November 29th to December 25th. So if you want to join us, all the information will be down in the description. Um, there's an announcement video, our sponsors, a little bit of everything. Um, speaking of our sponsors, Craftably is one of our amazing sponsors. They're, they're donating a generous, generous gift card of $75 for the grand prize winner. So please check them out. Um, they're amazing. Okay, without further ado, let's get into this painting, okay? It is called Christmas Basket. And you've got a little basket here with a little kitty and a puppy. See, in front of someone's door. But this looks like a girl, right? She's got a little pink and purple ribbon around her neck. And this looks like a little boy. They're so cute. Maybe it's the owner just posing them for a picture is what I'm envisioning, right? And this is their red door, their house. Okay, so Christmas basket and it is licensed artwork by Marcelo Cordy. It is a round and it has 63 colors. And like I said, it's got three ABs and one rhinestone, okay? And the size is, it's a 24 by 24 in inches. So it's a really nice square. I like, I like square paintings. Um, not square drills necessarily, but I like the size of paintings being a square. I don't know why, it just, it fits me. Um, everything you see here does come in this art, art telescoping tube, okay? And there are different colors. They used to just be purple. Now there's a mint green and a pink and more colors might even be coming, okay? And then you also get a welcome letter from Craftably just explaining everything that comes in the kit. And on the other side, if you're new, it's how to diamond paint instructions. Then there are these awesome peel and stick labels and they are individually cut. You just peel them right off and just put them on your storage containers. And then here's the logbook sticker. It's got some great information. It's got all the details. Plus it's got the start date and the finish date. You can put this in your logbook or maybe on the lid of the tube. Some other fun stickers that they've included just because, because they're pretty awesome. All right, you guys. Then you get this soft burlap bag and you've got your toolkit that comes in here. The toolkit consists of a tray. You get a pen with a four placer, a squishy for your pen, an additional four placer, a seven placer, a pair of tweezers, and a pink pad of wax. And then you also get a branded Craftably Pot pink wax. Okay, love those. It's got the little screw top lid. And you get two random rolls of washi tape. Look at this one, it looks like, like watercolor trees. So pretty, and I love this orange. Very nice. And then the cover minder. You will receive a random cover minder in this cute little case. Just pops right open. If I can open it, come on. I don't wanna damage my nails, y'all. <laughs> the things that are important, right? Oh my gosh, look at this hedgehog. She's got like a little stitching right there. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. And again, it is a cover minder, so it's got a magnet on the back. And I also use this case to hold my um, my multi-placers that I have my extra ones. So this comes in handy. All right, so that is the toolkit. So we'll kind of set that aside. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the drills, okay? Now, Craftably started putting on a sticker on the bag, which I love because some people do store their drills separate than their painting. So then you'll always know which painting it goes to. Again, it's got all the details right here. Now their drills are so organized. They are in baggies, individually bagged, and they are in order. Now let's take a look at these colors. Look at those colors. And like I said, I've already pulled out the ABs and the, the rhinestones. So this is all the other beautiful colors that come in this painting. I love it. It doesn't look like 63, but it is. So if you wanna work straight out of baggies, Craftably is the way to go because it's all ready to go for you. You just slide them right out, put them in a little storage container and just work right straight out of baggies, okay? All right, 
So let me move this tube and we're gonna cover where the ABs and the rhinestones go. So there's this big bag of white ABs. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis and it's a special coating they put on the drills just to make them sparkle a little bit brighter. Can y'all see that coating on there? It's like a rainbow effect. It also makes the drills next to it sparkle even, you know, even brighter too. But look at that. Okay, that's a really nice bag. All right, so let's start at the bottom. Um, it's the O symbol. So down in the snow, I'll bring it up for y'all just so you can see. We'll look at the drill field while we're here. Yeah, it looks really good. So that O is going to be all through here. So that snow, and then you see the kind of the big flakes right here. That snow is going to be all, that white AB is going to be all through this snow down here. Okay. All down here, I see O's. I mean, all the way across. They just keep going. It's all sprinkled all throughout the snow. All right. And I also see it in the kitty. The kitty has some in her paws. Okay. Wherever you see that white. And also... I see some on her face and she's got one in this eye. Okay, there's some in her ears, over in this ear too. Okay, let's look at the puppy. The puppy has some right here in his chest. He has several in his paws as well, in this paw too. Yep, and then his face, yes, I see a lot of O's. That O symbol all around his nose, on top of his nose, right there in his, his, on top of his head, okay. And where I also see a lot of them, let me bring it back down for y'all, um, these trees right here on the side. Wherever you see that white snow, kind of that's, you know, on the, snow, on the trees right here, that there's going to be white ABs all throughout here. On both sides, this tree as well, okay? Oh, that's going to look so good, you guys. All right. And I also see white. Do you see these snowflakes that are falling? That's all going to be ABs. All that white. I also see some on the handle of the basket. There's some white ABs all through here. And let's take a look um, up here in this wreath. I do see some, yep, there's some all throughout this wreath as well. I'm gonna bring it up and y'all can see the wreath a little bit closer. Look at that. Yes, so pretty. All right, so that's the white AB. The next one is this lime green. It's really pretty lime green. Look at that. All right, so this one is gonna be all in the wreath up here. So let me show you all this wreath again. And the symbol is, it's like an hourglass symbol. So wherever you see that lime green hourglass symbol, just kind of highlighting areas of the wreath, okay? So it will be right here. There's some here, 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 just kind of, you know, through different areas of the wreath here. Yeah, that's gonna look really good. Okay, so that's the green. And next we have this really pretty, um, it's it's like a, it's hard to describe. It's almost like a pink orangish red is the best way to describe it. It's not a real bright red, that'll be the rhinestone, but this is like a little more of a muted red, but I love it. It's almost like 321, I'm guessing, but I'm not sure. All right, so this one, is the little tree symbol and I see that throughout this red it's almost like it's it's pink here okay so if y'all look so this is the side of the door okay see the little trees right here it's those little trees right there yeah so little trees here here kind of that darker yeah here yeah so it's gonna be just highlighting the side of the door okay and I also see it, yeah, it's all throughout the side of the door right here. And also up here at the top of the door. And here, all along this area, I see some. Let's see if there's any on this side. Um, I'm not seeing any on this side. It's gonna be primarily on this side of the door. And then I do see it up here again, okay? But I don't really see any of it on this side. And let me see if there's any in the wreath. Yes, I see some in the wreath too. Okay. All right, y'all, last but not least, look at this ruby red, that's a big bag. Look at this ruby red rhinestone. How fun is this? I'm loving this. Okay, this is, it reminds me of a staple, okay? That's the best way that I can describe the symbol. It's a symbol right here. I don't know what y'all call that. I don't know if y'all have names, but that looks like a staple to me, right? Okay, so the staple 
is going to be all throughout. It's everywhere. Okay, I'm start. Let's start um, over here. Let's see if we see it anywhere. Yep, it's down here. So below the kitten, where you see kind of this, you know, red and green, almost like a blanket, I think, hanging down. It's over here. And then I see it uh, in this area. It's sprinkled all through here, throughout the door. There's some in here and here. Yes, there's big strips of it right here and a big section here, a big area of it here. Okay, it's up in the wreath. It's gonna be all throughout this door. Everywhere, I mean, I keep looking and I just keep seeing it. It's sprinkled all throughout this red door. That is gonna look phenomenal. You guys, this is gonna be so beautiful. That's why I wanted to show you guys. Because when I was doing the product review for them, I thought, oh my gosh, this one, I didn't know how cute it was until I unboxed it. So let me get the glare off of here for y'all. But yes, this is Christmas basket. Now I will tell you, um, in order to get it by Christmas, you do have to order it from Craftably by December 16th. So the day that I'm filming this um, is the 13th. So if you want to get this by Christmas time, maybe give it as a gift or start working on it yourself, or you can save it till next Christmas. Um, yeah, get to it. Yep, go check it out. I needed, I didn't check the stickiness, but y'all know, a very sticky. And of course, it's got the thumbnail down here. It's got the legend, legend. It's very, very good. It's just perfect. It's a great size too. Look at that, it's not too big. All right, you guys, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more, okay? I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Woo, this painting is amazing. I'm not just saying that, it's phenomenal. Are y'all ready for this? Just take a look over here. I always put out the rhinestones and the ABs. I had no idea when I was doing the product review for them how many they were gonna have of each. And I am just stunned. I've never seen four ABs and four rhinestones, you guys. Santa deserves a night off and he deserves all the glitter. Wow, okay, they're making me work. I gotta work for this one. I'm gonna show you all where everything goes. All right, so this is Santa's night off and it's licensed artwork by Daniel Rogers. It has 68 colors, okay? And it is a round and it's a 36 by 18. So just a long one, okay? All right, so, and like I said, four ABs and four rhinestones. They're not messing around. Okay, everything you see here comes in a telescoping art tube, okay? This happens to be the mint green one. They have pink, purple, mint green. They are coming out with new colors. And you do get a welcome letter from Craftably explaining everything that comes in the 4.0 kits. And then there's how to diamond paint instructions. And here's your peel and stick labels. And this, for those of you that may not know, the LZ, that stands for rhinestone. So one, two, three, four, AB, one, two, three, four. Amazing, 68 colors. So these are peel and stick labels. They just peel right off, individually cut, and you just put them on your storage containers. They do have a logbook sticker. It's got all the information you need. It's got the start date, finish date. Put this in a log book or on the side of your storage tube. And there's some other fun stickers that they've included. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the toolkit. This is a really soft burlap bag that everything comes in. And I use these for so many different things for storage. You wouldn't believe what I can put in here. It's, yeah, keep these. These really do come in handy. Um, okay. So the basic toolkit is a white tray. Okay. A pen with a four placer. A squishy for the pen. You get a seven placer, an additional four placer, a pad of pink wax, a pair of tweezers, and a branded pot of pink wax, okay, with a little twist off lid. I love those. And then there are two random rolls of washi tape. Looks like we got some pears and some apples, and then a green striped one. Love that. It's like a candy cane. And then you get a random cover minder. Got the little, little raindrop. And it comes in this cute little case, and I use this for lots of things too. Like I said, to store my multi-placers and all that good stuff. Some cover minders. I can fit multiple cover minders in there. All right, let me move all this aside because we're gonna be working our way up and down this painting side by side. All right, so here's the drills. And again, individually bagged and in order. But let's take a look at these colors. Lots of oranges, yellows, browns, greens. So pretty. Ooh, I like that really bright orange. Look at all these colors. And again, I already took out, you know, all the other ones too. Wow. Okay. And I love that they have a sticker on here. That's very nice. Okay, y'all ready for this? All right. Here we go. Let's start with, I'm just going to move these up here so y'all can see the whole painting. Okay. Let's start with this really fun yellow AB. 
it's like the color of like corn, right? Like cooked corn. Yes. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a special coating they put on the drills. Okay, you can kind of see it on there. It's a little rainbow effect. All right, the yellow, that's 61. That's the S symbol, okay? So I'll go ahead and pull up um, one side so y'all can just see the drill filled quality, okay? Do y'all see S's in there in the candles? Yeah, I see some right here. See that S? There's S, it's kind of just sprinkled down here. There are some over here and here and then all this inside and there's some up here. So it's all gonna be in the candle, okay? And then where else do we see this symbol? There's a big bag, so there's gonna be a lot of them. I do see some over here. I see some in Santa's hat, right here in that yellow area. I see some right here in his beard. There are some on his sleeve, on his hand right here. All of the yellow in his laces, that's gonna be this bright yellow AB. And let's see, let's see about the puppy. There's some here. And then this yellow right here, on the glow of the fire on top of the puppy, that's gonna be that yellow AB. Uh, it's right here. And here, oh, there's a lot. Okay, and in the flames, it's here, all through here, that bright yellow. Oh, it's gonna look so good, you guys. And then there's more down here, okay? That yellow that you see, and here. And I also see it here, kind of the glow of the fire. And it is on the presents over here, on the wrapping, on the wrapping paper and on the bows. I do see it. Oh, now let's check out the tree. Let's see if it's in the tree. Yep, it's in the up here in the stockings in the presents. There's going to be some. And then I do see some over here in the tree. Some of the ornaments have it. Wow. This is amazing, you guys. I love this painting. Wow. Okay. So that's the first one. The second one is a white AB. Okay. Look at that. White baby. Woo, white baby. <laughs> white AB is the O symbol. So let's go back down to Santa. All right, so I do see some in the snow out here outside the window, here and here, and then the falling snow that you see. There are some on the back of his chair. There's some in his sleeve, right here in his hat. Okay, where else? Where else are you, white AB? Um, let me see. I don't see it anywhere else. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. And that's enough. We have so much to go through. There's so many ABs and so many rhinestones. Look at this really pretty pink. Okay, so that's 63. That is the Y, okay? So in Santa right here, kind of the glow from his head right here, from the window, I see some of that light pink through here, okay? And I think that's going to be it. Yeah. All right, moving right along. We've got another yellow AB, but this is more like uncooked corn, right? Hasn't been cooked yet. Doesn't have that bright, vibrant yellow color yet. All right, this is gonna be the little hash signals, or not singles, sim symbols, y'all. Okay, I do see this. I was too busy looking. This is a book right here that's open, and it looks like the light coming from the window, it's shining down on the book, so it's right here. It is also all in the back of the chair. So it's almost like a, a lighting, like an effect, right? From the window. So it's lighting kind of coming off. Oh, that's really pretty. There's some up here on top of his head. So wherever the light's coming in and shining on, that's where this lighter yellow AB will be, kind of glow. All right, y'all ready to get into the rhinestones? I am, I am, I am. Oh, look at this. Look at this bright gold. And that's a big bag. All right, we've got some bright yellow, bright gold rhinestones. Y'all, rounds and rhinestones. Yes, craftably. Love it. They went all out on this one. Okay, the symbol for this one is B. And I'm going to start with the candle over here because this candle always has a lot going on. I do see some in the candle. Yep. These candles are going to be amazing right here. There's a lot of ABs and a lot of rhinestones in these candles. In the wick and the in the uh, fire up here, the flames. Yep. I do see some in his hat. Yep. Over here. And let's see. Let's take a look. I do see some here. It's that lighter yellow. Uh, 
I do see some over in the flames. These flames are going to, the fireplace is going to look really, really good. Let's see. There is a strip right here above the puppy. There's some here. Kind of that lighter, almost looks like a white, but it's that light yellow. Yep. And I see all it over here. This whole area right here, this whole patch. Sorry about the glare. Yeah, this whole area is all going to be this, this yellow gold AB. Okay, let's see if I see it anywhere else. Let's see. I do see it over here in the wrapping on the presents. It's all through here, more on the rug. So this puppy's laying on a rug right here. He looks so comfy, right? He's by the fire. There are some of the ornaments. Yeah, all around here. Oh, wow. Okay, love this. Okay, let's take a look at this pink color, little pinkish purple rhinestone. This is the T symbol. And we're gonna go back to this purple over here, kind of on top of his, his hat, um, where that lighting is coming in. It's gonna be over here as well. So you're gonna have that pink AB and a pink rhinestone right here. I like that. That's gonna look really, really good. Love that with the light coming in. Okay. And then, oh gosh, look at this big bag, you guys. Look at this yellow. Whoa. Okay, where is this going to go? This is 67, and that is the P symbol. So again, let's start with the candles. Did the candles have it? Yes, all through the candles. I see P all through here and here. And let's see, any in his hat? Yep, his hat has some. His beard had, yep, his beard. Um, let's see where else. Let's check out the puppy. Okay. This whole area right here is all going to be this lighter AB, this lighter yellow. Okay. All through here. And let's see in the flames. Yep. I see a P all through here, right in the center. And this whole area over here in the rug, it's going to be that color all through here. And let's see. These flames, all the flames coming off of these candles are all gonna be rhinestones. Yes. Uh, let me see if I see it in the gifts, in the tree, I mean. Um, yes, I do see some. Yep. Wow. Okay. All right, y'all, one more. Ooh, this is a good one. This is like an aquamarine color. I wonder where this is gonna go. Okay. Let's see, this is 68. So let's start down here. Okay, so it's gonna be over here in the window, just a little patch right here. Kind of that light, that kind of like really, really light blue. And then I do see some over here. So it'll be in this window, kind of highlighting you'll have the white ABs and then you'll have this, then you'll have this color around the same around the same area. Okay. And I don't think I see it anywhere else. Okay, you guys. I hope this video wasn't too long. This was a big one. The painting itself is not that big, but what they've included is amazing. I cannot believe there's four ABs and four rhinestones. You should have seen my reaction when I first realized it. I opened it up. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, yes, I love this one. Love it. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns or anything you want to discuss, just put it down below. If y'all have enjoyed this, you enjoyed Merry Monday and you want to see more of these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. And also um, leave a comment down in the description. Let's do, give me a Santa Claus emoji since this is Santa's night off, okay? Just give me a little Santa emoji and I'd love, I'd love to see how many people um, are watching, okay? All right, and if y'all haven't subscribed yet, there's a subscribe button down below and next to that's a bell. If you click on the bell too, you'll be notified whenever I post up any new videos, all right? Okay, you guys, y'all take care. Uh, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.